Hello and welcome to Anna's Back Corner. I really love to keep things organised and especially uh, for a new year and I thought I would share with you how I store my brands and up until quite recently I had my brands um, organised by shape but I realised that it wasn't really practical, so I real uh, I decided I would organise them by colour, and that's what I've done. So I've taken these pieces of styrofoam and simply put my brads uh, into that. And as you can see, here are my pink ones, red, white, purple, gold and so on and so on and I keep them in these drawers and I mark them with uh, the colours so that's a just a small organisation for you there and speaking of organisation since it's new year it's also time for a new journal and this was my journal uh, for last year that I've, I've altered and before uh, this journal looked exactly like this and this is my new journal for this new year and I'm going to alter this because I think it's actually quite boring and first of all we need to remove the, the covers and the way we do that is we simply this uh, wire here. You simply bend all these these parts out like this. Not too much, just enough to to get the uh, the colours through. And it's you could use pair of pliers if you if you like, but it's usually <coughs> usually quite easy. And then we have one cover and the other. Now I've measured my uh, covers, and they are about five and a half by eight and a quarter and I've cut my paper slightly larger uh, than the cover as you can see so you need to measure your particular cover to get a perfect size and for adhesive I'm using book binding glue you can use uh, dry adhesive if you prefer if you do use a, a glue uh, make sure you put on liberally if you have, like I do, a um, fabric uh, cover because the glue is going to soak into the fabric so um, you need to, to consider that. So now let's add the glue and as you can see I'm using quite a lot and spread out now uh, get your bone fold down and crease all around your cover like that and fold up all the sides now it's time to measure the corners and you can watch um, my video about post bound uh, how, how to make a post bound album and you'll see exactly how to do that so I won't bore you, bore you with those details. So I'm going to cut the 
corners. And before you glue this flap down, you need to point out uh, the holes so you know where to, to punch. So I'm going to just poke a hole in each corner of these squares so I know where to, where to punch. And Remember to do this on both your covers or you're going to have a really difficult time trying to locate the exact uh, locations for the holes. And there we are. Now let's get glue there we are bone folder Side out here and the other side. And let's mitre the corners. Remember, you're tucking these, this little overhang. And when you fall down, you'll have a perfect mitered corner. Now it's time for the inside and I've cut a piece of cardstock that measures um, four and a half by seven and a half and this will fit perfectly. And now the covers are done and I've um, repunched the holes and to reassemble your journal, get your covers place them back to back like this and insert like that and then use your fingers or a pair of pliers to reposition the coil and here we have the finished project I've added my stamped images and scrunch board and some brads so there we are and thank you so much for watching and please check back soon for more craft videos here from Anna Scrap Corner